Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, here to help guide you on your burning adventures. And I'm joined with Hubby. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to be working on the waterfall. I finished most of... If, you, if you've already seen the video, then you know that this is the queen and uh, toadstool are mostly done. And now I need to move on to more of the background and it'll get less, it'll have less detail here. And as it gets closer and moves through the piece, the bottom, because I don't know when it's going to pick up me talking again. So it doesn't help. Is it, is it, there we go. All right. Seems to have stopped buffering. Hi, Sian. Hi, Chris. Hi, Philip. Paulo. Hi, Eve. Thank you so much. Yes, made 3,000 subscribers on Friday. So excited. And thanks to everybody who went ahead and subscribed so I could get tacos. They were good tacos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're quiet over there. I'm eating a piece of pizza. Hey, Chris. Hey, Podge. All right. So hopefully we will have no more buffering. I do not know why that's going on. So I'm going to start in here. We've got some rocks, rocks. This is a waterfall, and I think this is kind of where I'm going to focus. And that way I can, um, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to focus. I've got the black and white picture up on the screen. And if you're new and haven't seen the whole project, this is what I'm working on. This is how hopefully this will all turn out when I'm done. Hi, Sheila. Thanks, Philip. Yes, I was so excited. And of course, right when you get close to whatever your goal number is, it seems to take forever. But luckily, the tacos rallied everybody together. All right. So I have a larger photo off to my left so I can see it. I am having to adjust because I have a ceiling fan You're on. You're a larger photo. I'm a larger photo. Why are you? What? I, you said a larger photo off to your left. I'm not a larger photo, Valerie. <laughs> you are off to my left, aren't you? <laughs> You're my photo. You're mine. All right. So we do have angles <laughs> happening. Uh, I gotta see how I did my lines because my photo is a little bit bigger. I have to pay attention that I don't try to put too much detail in. So right here is where the water goes down and starts branching off into the different uh, flows. So I'm going to go ahead and use the spear shader on two. And we're going to try to do this as soft as possible. I'm trying not to move the board as much as I can, but for this I'm going to have to do it. Alright, I'm going to get the dogs out of the back here. Alright. You're going to leave me alone. You never know when Bernadette's going to do something. Well, if my hands are on here, on the board, then it can't be me. So I do want to go down with the angle of how the water is flowing. Because if I sat here and go, went up and down, it wouldn't look quite as realistic. So I want to follow the flow. And I also want to block in as much as I can to get rid of the graphite. So I'm moving pretty quickly. I'm just using the end of the tip. The bottom heel of the tip is not touching the board. And I'm just moving it along. And if you haven't seen how all this started, I have a playlist started for the Hummingbird Queen. Oh, and I was talking, sorry, I was talking about having the fan on. I have to adjust how hot my setting is or how high, how high my setting is because the fan will interrupt the heat recovery and heat maintenance on the tip. And since we don't have any air conditioning, it's going to get hot. So, so did 
everybody catch <coughs> excuse me what uh bernadette did in the video last night hi grace hi robin you gotta remember to look up so hopefully is that close enough do i need to zoom in a little bit more let's see here so the water is going up underneath the rock and it just kind of fades away so actually I'm going to take my eraser. This is the Vanish Foreign one. Get rid of some of this graphite that I don't need. And if it lightens the other area, I'm not worried about it. As long as I can see it a little bit. There we go. No, Chris, up here in Flagstaff. <coughs> In general, we're supposed to be cooler, so they built a lot of houses without air conditioning. Now our neighbor, who has a newer house, <laughs> he made sure to put air conditioning in. And sometimes I think about going and taking Ray's house over. At least when he has the air conditioner on. You can share with us, right? We just need to get air conditioning eventually. Huh? Eventually we just need to get some. I know. That's not cheap. Not cheap at all. Yeah, it gets hot for... About two weeks. I, I would say three. Three weeks? For me. Well, don't kink us. I don't want it to be well, three no, weeks. I know, I'm just saying it's... For me, it's, it feels hot for around three. Yeah. As long as we've got a breeze and it doesn't go above 80, Overall, stays pretty comfortable. I would prefer 60s, but now we're just waiting for the monsoon to come in. So underneath the rock, we're going to have to make sure and have the weight. If we don't put the overhanging shadow from the rock, they're not going to look like they go together. Which this part of the this photo was all taken as one piece. I didn't manipulate this other than to extend it the way I wanted to down at the bottom but the water itself I did not manipulate so you're 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 gonna just go with the you're just gonna go with the fantasy that this is not a real thing no it's a real place exactly I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about you manipulated it the photo that I took because you never know what happens you know, I haven't named this other world place. I gotta figure out a name for it and for the queen. I have not found out what her name is yet. She has not told me. Maybe she's told chat. So what I'm trying to do is find where my darker areas are at. I don't know how well um, you can see on the reference photo where I'm at. That there is going to be some darks and lights in here and even with the water um, not everything is is white <coughs> excuse me so let's see here looking at the reference photo up on the screen because that's more that's closer in detail that I want so I need to be careful and not put everything in so let's start putting streaks in. Yeah. And my uh, tracing paper is still connected because I still need to do the sides. Haven't done that yet. Sorry. There we go. So, without raising the temperature, let's see here. I know there's a rock that comes out here. I don't want to put like too much detail on the rock but I do need it to be a darker value so I raise the temperature to two and a half and right now just blocking in and if you missed the um, speed video that I put up last night I discussed <laughs> the spoon shaders I showed last week um, I kind of messed that up they are not available in two different sizes because I'm supposed to be testing those. Oops. 
So right now there's only two sizes available. I did give Pat my opinion on which size of the testers that I like. And so hopefully the that one will be available soon. Alright. So this goes down. <clears throat> right now I'm not too worried about it being smooth because I can always smooth it out later. I'm not even worried about it being dark enough or anything like that. I just want to get this graphite off. And see it's going to be the darker dark darker areas around that's going to make the water pop even more. So I have to be careful. Let's see this actually goes up and over, but this is really this part of the flow is really light, so I'm going to skip. Let's see here, this goes up. I didn't transfer the pattern exactly, and I can tell. That's all right. I'm down a little bit. So, a lot of people are seeing that Bernadette took over the video yesterday. What? Yeah, she took over the video yesterday. I had to kick her out. Oh, she just kind of get full of herself. Yeah, well, this time she decided to mess around with the stag. Mm. Really? Yeah. I want to remind you who hired her. You? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hired her. <laughs> I don't know how she got in the computer. I don't know how she got the passwords. She's the intern. Okay, but... I thought she was supposed to have access to all that stuff. No. Only you and I are supposed to be editing videos. <laughs> Not <laughs> her. Whoops. Whoops. Ow. Sorry. <clears throat> an itch. Hi, Patricia. I don't know if I got everybody at the beginning of the stream who came in. But if I didn't get you, hello. Alright, so I'm burning to either side of the graphite because I don't want to burn it in. Definitely don't want to burn it in um, while doing water. So, and before I forget, and I always forget, I want to thank our awesome mod Eve and Andrew. I, I, he's having some issues, so he hasn't been able to be in lately. But I still want to thank him. Um, but Eve is always here for us. And I sincerely appreciate it. I have her link down in the description. Please go check out her channel. And the seal's awake. Lovely. Alright, so this water is coming down. She probably wants a treat. Because that's what she always wants. She's had a treat. <laughs> that wasn't enough, Dad. So let's bring the water down. If you notice, I'm going really light. I'm not. I don't want to burn everything. I got that in, so I know that we have a flow coming down from the side, and it's actually separated into two. Now, with the video I put up yesterday, I'm going to try to finish each section after the live and put up a finishing video. Let's see here. Put that down. And hopefully that will help. We've got a dark area here, but not as dark as the rock. <coughs> and I might... Switch over to the smallest um, spoon shader that I've been testing. And this is the one I like better. I mean, both of them were good, but this one just heats better. And it heats very similar to the other ones. So, kick it over. You know, sometimes I just think, I know when you leave, I just ramble. Really? Yes. I think it may have been just about the treat. Even though she already had one. 
You mean mom called it? Yeah. Alright. So, again, this is a tester tip. So, it's not 100% like what you would get if you ordered it because he would take more time rounding the edges and getting everything more even. So let's get this dark in. More even? More even. It looks pretty even to me. It, it's not... It's not like... I know Pat, and he's going to want it to look perfect, so... Well, it looks pretty perfect to me. Maybe I just don't know. So, I actually could go hotter, because this is a really dark area. And that's what's going to make the water really pop out without having to put too much detail in. And if I outlined any of this area, that would definitely take away from the soft feeling that I'm going for. So I do need to be careful with that. Let's see here, this goes more straight down. So now I can take out this graphite. I'm okay if it's not perfect. What? I know, I knew you were gonna I so knew you were gonna do that. I knew it. It's not what I'm I just I'm a little shocked. <coughs> Why would you be shocked? It's I've actually loosened up quite a bit. Something you say. I don't know. You've loosened up? I've loosened up. I, I don't know who you are anymore. I've loosened up. Well, because I know how picky I can be, and I don't want to stress other people out. And to be honest, I'm tired of stressing myself out. <laughs> because I really have. So, that. Because I haven't burned in this area, even though I lowered the heat, it's burning a little darker. And I think we can come out a little bit more. Not too much. Let's see here. That's way dark. Now, it always is going to look darker than it is because the area around it is not burned. That's why the hummingbird, that's why he looks so dark, which, I mean, granted, he is. But I'm hoping, and if I have to lighten her, I will, but I'm hoping once I have the other areas in, he won't look as dark. That's me blowing on the tip. Hopefully you can't hear the fan. It's down at my feet. All right, make sure we get the right direction. I don't know why I put a rock there, but I don't want it there. So I'm gonna make it go away. It's your world. I know, and I just removed it. I don't want it. All right, so. Trying to make this soft. Let's see here. Now this is my first time doing this. So I am learning as we go. I think I made that too dark. Let's see if I can blend it in there. Does it need to zoom in a little bit? Um, I think it's fine. But <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> Let's make sure the focus is okay, though. Let's make sure. Let it focus in. There we go. I want to take a focus off. <coughs> okay. Ah, oh, the sun. My sinuses always get worse when it's hot because the I have to have all the fans on. It dries up the sinuses. All right, so we're just gonna put. A little bit of shading, and all I'm doing is trying to follow. Okay, I made this one smaller, but it's fine. Then this area, um, just trying to follow the shapes. Actually, that I don't like how that touched down. 
I'm gonna switch back over to the spear. I can smooth it out a little bit better. It, it takes a little getting used to the spear, but once you do, it's an awesome tip. Sure, put it on the right side. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to heat up. All right. Let's see if we can smooth some of this out here. Bring it down a little bit. It's quiet. Hmm? It's quiet. What's everybody talking about? Um, just different things. We're asking about um, Eve's cat. Oh yeah, Pico had to go to the vet. And talking about Optima. Alright. Okay, so we got some water there. Now this is a darker area because and it's it's less water flowing right here. Oops. Less flo water flowing here, and it's further away from the camera. So we need to make sure and have this be darker than the area in the front. So we talked about the caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not on chat though. No. Not live. No. So is that something you're gonna integrate into this piece or something? No. Else? It's gonna be in the next piece. Oh, okay. No, this piece is laid out the way I mean, I guess in the video yesterday I did change back the light source because I kind of felt that the queen that she would be backlit. Ah. So I did do that, but I'm not adding anything else to this particular piece. Alright, get this graphite off. Overall, the truckle is um, erasing pretty good. And I, I use the Walnut Hollow transfer, graphite transfer paper. That one is wax free. Um, for those of you who were with us during the still life uh, lives, and I was really struggling and thought it was the wood. I actually found out last week that the Mona Lisa graphite paper by Speedball is carbon paper. It's pretty scandalous. I know. I mean, at least they were honest with me when I called them. Yeah. But, and the person I spoke to agreed that it, he's been trying to get it, get it, the term graphite taken off of it, off the packaging, because it's misleading. But that is why I had such an issue trying to erase my lines. Because they're carbon. Because it was carbon lines. So not only is um, using the carbon transfer paper a pain in the butt to remove, as we saw, it also has petroleum and wax in it, and those are toxic to burn on. Not only that, the wax, if you burn over the, the carbon line, mm -hmm. it actually melts the um, wax into the wood. That is why you have such a hard time erasing it. So, yeah, I did a whole post on over on the Facebook group discussing it. So, Christian Gershner. Um, That's Chris. Chris. Okay. Yeah. That'll be easier for you. All right. So, Chris yeah. says that she used it and couldn't get them to erase, which is very frustrated. Then he read what, then she read what you had found out. Yeah. So. Yeah. I did, rec I did ask the gentleman at Speedball to please, please have them remove, or at the very least put carbon in parentheses under the term graphite which is still not correct because speedball does not make the graphite paper they bring it in and repackage it in their packaging so it's interesting what you can find out when you call a company Let's see 
here. That's throwing me off, but I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to move over to the right. I need to get rid of this graphite. So, and I am set really low. I'm at one and three quarter. You're taller than that. <laughs> but I said set, not seat. Oh. Set. My bad. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Let's, see. Let's get that in there. Oh, I hate being warm. Yeah, me too. And then having all these lights on. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. But it does look like we're starting to get some water going on here. And the lighter and softer I can keep this, with, with the darker rocks around it, they won't need a whole lot of detail to convey what I'm trying to do. Oh, Heather's here. Hey, Heather. Yeah. Where the graphite's a little darker, I do know that's where I marked as a dark line. So I can blend it into the burning. That's what I'm going to do. Every time I lift the pen, because I'm at such a low setting, I'm intentionally going in one direction and then lifting the pen so that it can um, do its heat recovery. Yeah. I know I'm sitting too close to my board because my eyes are bouncing back and forth. Oh. That happens, at least for me. Let's see here, so. And if you notice, I had, I intentionally chose to use the board in, the, in this layout because I have grain that's actually flowing along with the water. And I thought that that would be a nice effect. All right, so some of these areas are darker because the water folds over itself. This is almost like doing fabric. That's a good way to put it. It's almost like doing fabric. But it's not. Well, it's fabric in a way. What would be the correct definition of fabric? That is our existential question for the day. Oh, somebody else is going to have to answer that. <laughs> My brain slowed down when I started thinking about it. I started getting sleepy. <laughs> Your brain started stopping? I don't got much right now. Started Too stopping? Hot. It is. I could lay down and take a nap on the floor. But you know what? <sighs> no. No, not unless you take the tablet with you so you can tell me what everybody's saying. <laughs> I might just do that. I wouldn't do that. Why not? Because I need to vacuum the floor. That's okay. He needs to vacuum it. So this right here is misty. And this is going to be more like burning clouds. Of which I haven't done that either. This piece is really stepping out of my... I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. Try different elements that I have not done before. But, unlike most people who would take maybe one element that they haven't done before and work on that, I decided to do a whole piece. <sighs> but I'm hoping that in the scheme of things I can get it done really, relatively quickly. Because I do have other projects to work on. Let's go back, go in the direction of the water again, the flow of the water. And we do have reflections, so those are going to be lighter areas. And then we have the water coming over the rock area, and that is going to be darker. It comes in a V. V. See, another thing I have to watch for is I'm looking at my reference photo 
and part of the waterfall in my reference photo, <coughs> excuse me, falls off the board. Mm -hmm. And so I have to make sure I'm looking at the right area. Because see, part of this right here, and I know they can't see it, Yeah, is off the board. What I can't do. Well, I mean, it's, it's off the off. board. I don't like trying to find it. Well, not, I don't I do know. chasing waterfalls. <laughs> That was a good one. Uh, that was a good one. So I know I have the waterfall popped up on the screen, but right now this is the area I'm looking at and I'm burning. But if you notice, this area starts on the board, but then as it continues, it's off the board. So I have to be careful that I'm not looking at the wrong area. So that this is what I'm looking at as I'm burning. I don't know if I should have undone that. These clips are pain in my butt. Pain in the butt. I'm not left handed. No, I'm sorry. There. That works. Much easier. Alright, let's get back to it. So I have it pretty much for part of this I might actually have to have my reference uh, like sitting right on the board so it's easier for me to look at. Let's get that in there. I'm actually wondering if it wouldn't be easier to use a ball tip so that I can draw in because I don't have every line transferred and some of it is not what I want it transferred. All right, this is Get that in there. Get that darker. And I'm not going to burn all the way down because that's misty. So I do, as, as we're working, I'm going to think about how I want to do this one. And maybe I can get it started so we can see in real time. Because that's another thing with the, the filling in video, like from last night. That's going to have to be a speed burning. So... Some of this, let's see here. So right here, we have mist. And I think I'll lower you guys a little bit. There we go. And I'm having to look around the camera. Always fun. Okay. Let's see here, I'm thinking actually the non-sharp to be might actually. Go a little smoother. Hmm. All right, let's give it a try. I know this one takes a little bit more heat. Right, we'll give the softer one a try first, and that way I know how dark to put the area behind the mist. Yeah. Because this isn't a pointy tip, it'll be a little easier, I think. I don't want it too dark. So, let's give it a try. And so this is more misty. I'm going to go in ovals. And try to go in the shape of... Um, well, Chris can't wait to see how you do the mist. Uh, no pressure there. I got rid of the pencil. This is the 2B on 2. And we're going to very lightly go and kind of skip around ovals and not. There's always going to be areas that are darker. So put that in. So let's go a little darker here. And this shows me on the reference photo now that I'm doing this, that the water coming down as it gets closer to the mist is darker 
than the water in the mist. So, let's see. That kind of fades off, but that needs to be a little darker in order to fade off. So I'm going to bring it down. This is where a black and white photo definitely helps a lot more than um, a color photo because you can see the values better. I have a color photo of this if you want to pop it up. I don't know how well it will show. Let's see here. I'm looking. No, I know. I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm trying to see. See, it goes down in the mist. The mist is a little darker. It comes down a little bit. Okay. And then around the rock, it's going to have dark areas. There you go. Thank you. Let's see how the mess is kind of going down, so we need to make sure and go in that direction. Cheryl Bennett wants to hey, know. Hi, Cheryl. Do you think taking art classes would help in my pyrography? I don't think that art classes are a necessity, but if you're looking at taking art classes, I absolutely think they do help. Especially any drawing classes. I would agree with that. You don't have to do it, but it is definitely a resource that is very helpful. Um, I've had in the past um, three. What are you doing? <laughs> Too many friends. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Running down is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. I've had three art classes. Um, one was life drawing, and that was my first class. The uh, second one was I signed up for drawing one because it needed a prerequisite, or all the other drawing classes needed a prerequisite. But once in, the teacher bumped me up to two. And then I took drawing three, and that teacher bumped me up to four. But I was already drawing before I went in. I was already self-taught. But it definitely, I definitely saw a difference in my burning and my drawing after taking the classes. And I do not feel like they were a waste of time or money for me. No. So when I went to school, like when I first started, I. I'm not going to say I was arrogant, but I, I didn't feel <laughs> You like, had a little bit of a chip. I did. You did. I didn't feel like I was going to learn anything significant. I felt like I was going to get practice, but I wasn't going to learn anything. And I was really, really wrong about that. I learned a lot of... Yeah, your art changed. My art improved. It did. Because there's things you don't even realize. And even watching YouTube videos, it's hard to explain and show. And sometimes... No matter how much you like the YouTuber, sometimes somebody explains it a little bit better and it clicks and it's nothing against anybody else. It's just our brains see things differently. Now, there's another really cool component of, of in-person class that is that you know, you've got other students in there and everybody's going to approach a project differently and you're going to be inspired yes by your classmates and you may even learn like some different ways to do things or some you know some innovations or some some hacks as the kids nowadays would say hacker 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 ah we're buffering i still want to say the f word right now um oh yeah you see the question when we get back yeah i so want to say the f word Badly. Yeah. I know I'm being good. Oh, I need to stop burning until we come back. There. Are we back? No. No. <sighs> okay, we're back.
For sure. Yes. I try, when the buffering happens, and I know you guys are behind this more so now, when the when we notice the buffering happen, I do try to stop talking and burning mm -hmm. so that we don't miss anything. So I saw Robin's question. Robin was asking if you can burn on other things beside wood. And yes, you can. You can burn on paper. You can burn on canvas, raw canvas. You can burn on leather. Uh, you can burn on what's called task board. So that's very similar to watercolor, but not. Uh, let's see here. Any natural surface. Um, lends itself to burning. So if it's made of plastic or anything with a bunch of chemicals, that, that would be a no. Probably not metal. No, no. All you'll do is, with a high enough heat, like with steel, is is have it oxidized and be different colors. It's not going to do anything. But I mean, like, yeah, plastic. Um, now, watercolor does have uh, watercolor paper does have sizing in it, and that's made of gelatin. Um, so you will smell that while you're burning on paper. And you can do lighter weight paper, but it's going it's not going to have the same um, outcome. Let's see here. So I've got that line here, which. That line is actually a seam, so we'll get that in there. But yeah, I've there's videos on the channel of me burning on the watercolor paper, um, canvas, task board. And is there anything else I did outside? I, I still need to do the leather. Um, Let's see here. I think that's all I've done. Oh, oh, uh, bone. Mm -hmm. I still want to try burning on bone, but I don't have access. So I'm waiting for to see if Bubba can send me some bone from deer hunting, so that the whole animal is being used. Into art and honor it. Let's see here. Now the, the the fog is not the mist is not going to stand out until I darken around it. In fact, let's see here. Now we have some water coming down here, but we can do this rock. Yeah, we can do this rock. Now I'll just keep on this pin and switch up to three. This one's easier to get softer lines. I can still get hard lines, but let's see here. Well, that's probably a specific question. What's that? Robin's asking if you can burn on an ostrich egg. Yes, that would fall under bone. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. Who we got? Oh, I thought Clarence was coming in. No. She opened her. Home she door. asked me last night if she could, when she was getting. You know, when we we're getting up, and I said, Well, we got the broadcast, so there's no getting up time. <laughs> she was like, Oh, good. Oh, okay. She, I guess she went to sleep in. Oh, I feel hotter air, though. Do you feel that? Yeah. Is that uh, I don't know. Zena's laying in the doorway outside. Alright, so let's get a dark, not sharp. Yeah, bone. Uh, the eggs are um, basically bone. So yes, you can burn on those. Just make sure that they're really cleaned out. I know you can buy them um, already pre-prepped for that, huh. for like painting and whatnot. Yeah. So that's the kind of egg if you're buying them that you want to look for is a pre-prepped cleaned because what they do is they put um a pen at the bottom of them to drain them out and then clean them right, let's get this in here i don't want to go too far over because i know there's water coming down so if i overburn 
I'm going to have to make adjustments. But with it being a rock, you don't have to have all the exact crag, crags, 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 crags. C R A G S. Cracks. I should probably change this to words with Valerie. So let's get this in. I want it darker than the water behind it, but not too awfully dark. But that will help us to see better. And where there is mist at the bottom, I'm really only just tapping so that there's not a straight line. We don't want straight lines. Don't want it outlined. All right, so I'll work on this rock. And remember, this is only the first layers of the water right here. And I'm just trying, I'm trying to stay in one area and kind of focus on that. I think that kind of works better for everybody. But rocks have different layers and direction, so we do want to follow those. I'm kind of blend this in. I'm not trying to put any distinct lines, any harsh lines. Though, looking at this rock, there are, let's see here, it goes down here. Yeah. What? Well, if you do sharp lines, it's, I mean, the fuzzier you are, it will lend itself to that, um, yeah. Crystal, that illusion of distance. I agree with that. I mean, we have some sharpness. But not. This is dark. So let's get the dark in. I don't know how well it's coming out on camera to show depth. We're not really going to see a whole lot of depth until more of the piece is in. And that's why I always try to go lighter so that I have that room for adjustment. So I know there's water coming down here, which is what I'm trying to see. So you're looking over the camera, and it's not always easy. We have a new person in chat, and I'm going to try and pronounce Hi, the, the name. Hi, Ursi. Oh, you know the. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's one of Lisa's in chat. Luxburg, Slade. Yeah, it's Ursus. Ursus. It's funny, I would have mispronounced his first name. And Lisa does every yeah. live, and he <laughs> he is helpful. He says the waterfalls have, have a lot of character. Thank y'all. I need to straighten this line out more to show that it's in front. Patricia has to get back to work, so she says see you all later. Thanks, Patricia. Have fun storming the castle. Let's get this in here. And Chris has to leave because there's a weird noise from the washroom. Oh! Maybe it's Bernadette. Bernadette is late to work. I told her not to be late and she was still late. She's been in chat. She got an attitude. I know. What's up with that? And it'd be weird if, like, when people were watching the show, Bernadette just appeared around their house. <laughs> Are we going to go with the elf on the shelf, but it's I'm Bernadette? Thinking mainly, I'm thinking mainly Grace's house. <laughs> I'm sure Grace wouldn't be too happy. Like Grace looks over, and Bernadette's watching over her shoulder. I think you're about to get some. I think I'm probably going to be yelled at. Yeah, you're about to lose. Let's see if Grace is in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so trying to darken up a little bit of this. There's going to be layers of shadow on the water. And my 
Water's a little off. This should have gone out more, but it's going to be okay. It's okay. The water fall right there. There was something swimming upstream momentarily, and it blocked some of the water. I'm so tired. I know you're tired. I'm tired, too. Oh, Grace says no thank you. No thank you? All right, let's get that in there. So this will be a map. It's, I guess like with everything else I do, it's about building up the layers and taking your time. Let's see. We need to shoot the water out a little bit more. I think for Halloween I should do a video. Of what are you gonna do? Dress up as a giant Bernadette? Oh God, no! No, that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> No. Wearing your own t-shirt? No. No, I, I think I could do something, something in the oblivious line, but oh. I it into it. Let's see. Okay, so I keep getting sidetracked. Every time I see something that needs to get fixed, I end up moving over. So that is too sharp. Because we are at a different dis distance, don't want that sharpness. We want it to be fuzzy. So let's try fuzzing it out a little bit. Though with this rock, it is a pretty sharp because it's coming out in front of the water mm -hmm. and it's darker. So it does have more definition to the sh overall shape of it, but not... Let's see here. So we've got that in. Our fog mist. I'm going with the direction. Let's see. Let me try them on. The noise Chris heard in the washroom was the washing, wobbling washing machine. Oh. Uh, Hate when that happens. Yeah, I do too. I always feel panicked. Like if I don't get there soon enough, the washing machine is gonna like crash to the wall. Like I know. Man. Let's see here. So that okay. This is a dark. This is actually a rock that is in the water, but because there's so much pressure and energy from the water coming down mm -hmm. on this particular waterfall, this rock is just completely. In the mist. I see that. So I am going to lighten up my graphite. It's a fuzzy rock. It's a fuzzy rock. I'm going to lighten up my graphite before I start burning. <laughs> Heather says, if you want fuzziness, I have just the cat for you. <laughs> oh, we got the dog. We got the dog. I'm still over that. Well, if we incorporated Zenon, it would be like, I don't understand. Where's the scene? All I see is this snowstorm. <laughs> Yeah. So right here, even though I erased 99% of the graphite, I still know it's there. I can still see it. So what I'm going to do, I didn't want it to burn in. Glad you can see it because I can't see it. Well, I get this in here. And this is a darker tone, but not as dark as the rest of our rocks, nor is it detailed. So. And then this is a ridge coming down. We actually have a whole ridge line right here. This is darker. Down the angle. I can see the shape, but I, there, there's not a definition. So I'm just trying to get the shape. Am I on screen okay? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So now I can take this line off as well and then kind of blend things together. <laughs> In regards to Xena, Heather says, oh yeah, you have fuzziness on freaking steroids. <laughs> oh my gosh, can she sheds <laughs> twice a year? It's like 
A whole new puppy being born. Mm -hmm. So it's fuzzy all around the floor. It looks like some sort of like some sort of apocalyptic thing is happening in our house. Yes. Like, oh no, the fuzziness is happening. Yeah, it's horrible. Let's see, the heel touch down here. I didn't have it angled well enough up, but you know what? It's okay. Let's get that in there. So now the water is engulfing this rock. We see the rock. You see a little detail at the top. How well can you see on the reference photo this rock? Um, you can see it. Okay. Okay. And then we got a little mist going up like that. I'm just going to put that there. And we do have a darker mist. Let's go along with it. I'm trying to stay ver uh, horizontal because water flows and lays in each one of the pools in a, in a horizontal. Um, way not a vertical so gotta keep it horizontal let me see here so this is misty so we've got some areas that are a little darker in the mist and then it goes out this area and this comes down. We've got more rock in here. So I think we'll go ahead and put that in. Hopefully I'm still... Um, on camera enough. In fact, I can bring us down. There we go. All right. So right here we got a rock. The top part and the edge is more misty than... I'm wondering if it wouldn't be. See, what you're seeing on the reference photo, the rock is actually... Let's see here. The rock... Yeah, most of the rock is cut out of this area because I put the moss bridge right there. So. But what if it wasn't just a rock? Well, what we if, have a mushroom here. What if it was a rock lobster? <laughs> rock lobster? Oh, God. Yeah, he's tired. Rock lobster? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we don't have a rock. Rock lobster? Or a lobster right here. We have a little bit. This right here is all there is. Don't get us copyright striped. I'm just coming. Uh, you are tired. So I'm just putting this edge in again because we need the dark to help with the light yes thank you sorry my i start working and my brain just stops signals to my mouth it just stops that's, that's one of those prophetic things you cannot have the dark without the light before you turn left you must turn right so what about talking we're working. Before you work, you must rest. <laughs> What's that? In fact, I need to do the big video for the announcement to go up on the first. The announcement? Mm-hmm.
Like the national announcement? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got a big announcement coming. Hopefully this weekend. So big. So big. So hopefully. Please make sure if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, wondering what the hell you just walked into, um, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss what I'm really pushing to have up announcement-wise uh, this weekend on Sunday the 1st. Yep, that is my goal. Whether I reach it or not is a different story. And you're supposed to be helping me with that. I will help. You gotta get sleep so that you can help. And as long as it has something to do with the rock lobster? <laughs> I didn't say that word. Didn't say it. I did. Alright, so this, this area is going to be darker. Oh. Uh, and I because it. it's closer, slightly closer than what we're doing for the waterfall. It's going to have a little bit more detail. I see you denied me. I denied you hard. Saboteur. I did. I need to get this area in in order to get that area in. If that makes sense. I think so. Maybe. Let's see. So I just get. I just want enough of that in there. So that I can have the different, um, not focal points, but to create that distance and depth and to put in this misty, pointy, sharp area. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Right, it just popped in. Ah, okay. So right here, I know there is been drinking coffee. one of these things. I'm trying very hard not to say the words because I know it's going to happen. Words for what? Exactly. Exactly. I'm trying to deny you. So let's get this in here. Challenge accepted. I didn't challenge you. I didn't do it. So we got one of those pointy hard things right here. <laughs> what? You're you're denying me, but you're giving Heather. <laughs> I'm giving her some fodder. Alright. So I need to darken this area in order to make that area work. And really, that's why you see me bounce around so much, is because it's a balancing thing. Got to balance. And the pieces that you see that you really like, that inspire you, they have put the mo most time, in general, they've put the most time in trying to get this balance correct. So that's why it's so important to take your time. A little darker though. Not rush, not a race. No. Nope. I mean, I still just want to be done. I want to see what this looks like and and move on. But I have to take that time. So what is this? I don't know what I put there. I'm looking at my pattern upside down, so I can tell, because I do have elements that come up, so I need to make sure I not erase those. I'm not sure what that line is. So we got a mushroom here. I think that's a pointy thing too. I need this darker. I'm going to switch pens. So what's everybody saying in chat? Um, they're talking about shedding still. <laughs> Sorry, I need a drink. It's hot. Okay. I need a drink too. 
you got a drink. What time is it? It's also your special time. I already took it. Oh, okay. My special yeah. time, that sounds weird. Yeah, you know. That's why I said it. All right, so let's get this darker. We're going to need this dark. So I'm at three with the spear shader. And the minute I put in more of these darks, it's windy out there. Yeah, that's a hot wind. Let's see here we have some more rock in here. I hate when my eyes bounce. What was in there? What was in where? I thought you said that there was something in there. Yeah, there's more rock. A rock and lobster? Butthead. <laughs> Butthead. <laughs> there, that's your last one. Butthead. You're my butthead, but you're still butthead. So just trying to get that balance. So this means this is definitely going to have to go darker. And this, and this is the biggest reason why working in layers helps calm down frustrations. It takes more time, but you can have a better outcome because you can adjust back and forth. And I know I have to go darker because of how dark the hummingbird is. Which is why I went ahead and put her in first. And see, I know this mushroom is a lighter area. So go quickly here. No. Let's see here. This one comes out more. What are you doing? <laughs> he found out. He found out that it looks like a lobster icon. What does? I don't want to say it out loud. What does? The icon. The. Oh, budget. actually, there should be one. Um, at least on the tablet, there is. Yeah. I'm almost positive. So now we can go here and darken this area. I don't know what I put here. What did I do? I may have to pop up the full picture so I can see. Let's see here. I'm looking in that area. I guess that's a pointy hard thing coming all the way. <laughs> Slow <Slide> stopping. <laughs> that one was Back bad. Back to you, Heather. <laughs> that was bad. And trying to not feed you. I, I definitely. Ouch. Alright, so. I think what this is, because, okay, that's, oh, this is a rock. Lobster. And this is darker, this is darker mist. That's what it is. I hate when that happens, when I don't remember what's in my pattern. Right, you just gave me a look, so I'm going to stop saying I didn't that. get, how did I give you a look? I sensed it. I was looking at my board because I'm erasing. Oops, sorry. They reflected off the board. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. I'm trying to think. And then I realized what, I, what it was. So I'm going to lighten this. Because this is a rock that has... I, go ahead. No. no. <laughs> this is a rock that has mist, but it's in more focus than what we've done so far. So, I'm going to get rid of this graphite as much as I can. I don't know how well. Not you can still see it. Okay. Alright, and now I can darken this a little bit more. 
It was just me cooling off the tip for a second so I could touch. <laughs> I know. I There was no nothing. Nothing I could say to get around that one. Just nothing. What? I tried on that one. Oh, boy. Uh, stay with us. Stay with us. Remember, the mic picks you up well when you lose it. Let's see here. Almost like grass. Gonna pull that down without being exact. All right. Um, I'm trying to remember to talk or express what's going on in my brain so you guys know what I'm thinking. I do want this darker. So get that in there. And even that's going to go darker. But for now, that allows me to get in what little detail there is on this one. So see, now that I went darker, because this has to be darker, now I have to go even darker on this one. Do you think that Gibson Rock was like like making food like in the other rocks around do you think that they could smell what that rock was cooking what where'd you go come back to me how 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 just how they could smell what the rock was cooking but what would it be cooking i think that i think that i just used to pop reference that you're not aware of. What did you use? Cooking. Now you're just going to have to explain it to me a little bit better. I'm switching over to my ball tip and so I'm waiting for it to heat up. It's not, it's funny if I have to explain it. But it's not funny if I don't know what the hell you're talking about either. Okay, so you know who Dwayne Johnson is, right? Yes, The Rock. Okay, and when he was still doing pro wrestling, one of the things he would say Do you know what the rock is cooking? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Mmm. Okay. okay. Sweaty armpit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we stopped buffering in time for people to hear you say sweaty armpit. Make sure I'm focused. Come on, camera. Focus on me. It's cooking right. lobster, obviously. Exactly, Heather. A rock lobster. <laughs> Well, that was what he was making with sweet armpit. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Valerie didn't know what the rock was cooking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be kind. I like Dwayne Johnson. You're putting, like, <coughs> you're putting metaphorically, like, the people's elbow on my fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I'm over here hitting the camera and all right, I'm trying to darken this area. I guess like this area up here is gonna need to be darker as well. I'm trying to get this does have to be a little bit more detailed because of where it's located. So I'm trying. That's why I switched over to the ball tip so that I can kind of like I don't know how to explain it. Brain stopped. And since this rock is behind another rock, I need to make sure that they overlap each other. But let's get back to here because, like I said, because I darkened this area, though I don't want it in focus, but because I darkened it, I had to darken this area. So, so I'm just going to kind of scrumble around. I'm trying to make this look like it's a rock in the water without. 
much detail. Let's see here. So this can go darker here. And really this is what it's about, is just bouncing around to different areas. Trying to get your lights and darks to work with each other. So now it's hard to tell. How's that looking? Are we looking like yeah. rocks and waterfalls? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the ball tip. Maybe. Let's see how it does. All right, now I'm going to, actually I need to still work on this area. It needs to be a little darker, but out of focus. So no detail, but it does need to be a little darker. And now in doing all this, I can go back up to the water and darken where the rock ledge can be seen through the water. Ursus. Ursus thinks it looks beautiful. No, thank you, Ursus. I think it needs a lot of work. But. And Heather says, wait, one rock behind another rock? It's <laughs> something new every day. I just feel the heat. Air. Hot air. Stop breathing. I, I so knew that's where you were going to go with that. <laughs> That's what the dogs do every time they, they have something that they want to eat. They come Especially the moon. Moon the seal dog. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I'm off Sorry. on my angle. Sorry. I'm off on my angle here. So let's see if I can get it back. Right here it's looking pretty misty. I like that. So I need to be careful and not do much more to that area. So we need darks in here. Could bump it up a little bit. We need these darks. Dark is your friend. Oh, what did you do? Fall asleep? No, I didn't fall asleep. I had my elbow on Are the board over here. Are you okay? Are you okay? No. Do I need to kiss your elbow? I need a nap. Well, I know. <laughs> We're 10 minutes more. Chris says it looks amazing. Now, I think, because I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try to get as much as I can on a particular area and then have the speed burning up of how I finish that area. I think for the next video we're going to stay here mm -hmm. because there is so much more and I want to be able to get things done timely. Well, I think something that's really going to sell it is when you do the areas around the waterfall and it's all the contrast. And that's what I was trying to build up here just to show um, and it definitely needs more. Let's see here. I need to get the lines right on how the water is falling. And if you notice, I'm not outlining, but I am trying to get there. And let's see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why? Okay, here. So this is dark. I'm just going to tap it in. That's getting the ridge of where the water is falling. And this ridge gets bigger here. This that goes down there. Make sure we get it right. 
fuzzy details is what we need. This rock gets dark right about there. Then we got Paulo's back from there. Hey Paulo. Welcome back. Right, let's see here. Now there are dark areas where the water is coming down. So that's really dark and it's going to look really dark until I put in other darks. So I have to remind myself, don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay. Because right now it does look dark. Let's see here. I'm just going straight down. Right now I have the ball tip at three and a half. Let's get some of these darks in. Wow. Mm. Sea and ink wants the Optima so much that she's looking at flights to the USA. Oh, goodness. Heather is asking, fuzzy details, is that an oxymoron or what? <laughs> I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Or a band name. Oxymoron. I thought that was your name for me. No. Let's see here. Actually, this is, I don't want to do too much more here. I do need to darken up part of the side. Just to get that depth, but I don't want to do too much. Did you know that um, Karen used photography as a topic in a leadership class? I did not. Hmm. I'll, ask, huh. I'll ask her to tell you about that. She yes, to, please. She had to talk about something that no, that people weren't familiar with. <laughs> it's like you think biography. Yeah, and I guess a lot of people were like really interested in it after that. Wow. That was cool. Talk, she talked about you. Oh. Well, that makes me feel honored. No, she didn't tell me. I wish she would have. She probably forgot about it. We were out driving. Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's focus more on. Buffering, buffering, go away, no buffering. Okay, so Chris so is. And I said, "Lady, I don't have a briefcase full of kittens." <laughs> what? Oh, we're back. We're back. All right. Chris is asking if I find that I use different sizes of the ball tips pins, or am I gradu uh, gravitating towards one in particular? I look at the size of the area, and that helps me decide. Um, which ball tip I'm going to use. If you can only buy one ball tip, um, I would suggest the medium because it's still small enough to get into smaller areas but large enough to uh, not have as many of the um, blobs when you touch down. So in general, like here, I, I want a more surface area touching down on the wood. And that's why I went with the larger ball tip. And I also knew that between the ball tips that the, the large one would not be as streaky. Even though it is streaky, it's not as streaky. <laughs> what? Here, Heather's trying not to respond to something you said. Oh gosh, what did I say this time? I don't know. What haven't you said? I don't know. I like say it, and <laughs> then I forget what I said. Because I'm so, I'm having to separate my attention that, yeah. I don't always know what I'm saying. Well, I do know what I'm saying. I used to always remember what I said after the fact. Sammy Garrett has another question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Razor tips. Yeah. Do the pins heat up fast? Yes. And do they become too hot to hold? They do for me. 
Because I still have one left. This is the razor tip um, spoon shooter. I guess I had to back up. And we can go ahead and take off. Um, oh, the. Yeah. Got it. And we can also. Let's see here. Okay. Red one. Take off the other one. There we go. Thank y'all. Um, and I'm just going to back this out. Sorry about that. Oh, the camera's getting warm. And then if you hit the black screen the at, the, at the top, uh -huh. hit autofocus. Okay. Go. Go. Okay. No, go. I, I, I need it focused. Hit uh, down bottom left. Hit that white button. I feel like you're training me. I am training you. All right, now unclick it. All right, now we're focused. All righty. So this is a spoon shader. Sorry about that. This is a razor tip one. You can see on their phone they put razor tip. And as you can see, it comes off easy. These hand, these vents and the hand piece, this is what makes it really hot. That and it's, it's a thinner plastic. Um, and taking out the foam, I can see it's a little bit whiter as well. Philip has to go. Hi, Philip. Thank you. So this pin gets hotter quicker. Plus, it has to it has to do with choke points and size of tips and how things are made inside. And yes, these do get hot. Not as hot as your Peter uh, Brin, which is going to be similar similar to the Walnut Hollow. But yes, they do get hot, and the um, pens also require a higher heat setting. Wait, there's a burner called the Peter Brin. She yeah, uh, Sian has a, a burner over in Europe called uh, Peter Brin. Oh, is that different from the Peter Child? Yes. Those are two different burners. There's too many Peters. I know. I thought that same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just hit me too. Yeah. <laughs> Did it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, this is where I'm going to leave it off. I'm going to work on this area for the next speed burning. Mm -hmm. And then for next week, I think... I have to figure out what area we're going to be working in next week. Um, I need to move back a little bit. Everybody can see. Uh, kind of. Maybe. Straighten things out. Oh, no, I'm just going to leave it alone. Alright, so what area? We've got moss. We have fog. We have the rest of the waterfall back here. We have the mushrooms, the ferns. I was thinking of if I can get this area done in a speed video for next week, that maybe we would work on the moss, which I guess it would be easier if I did this, maybe. So to work in the moss and tie everything together this way so we can see where we're going with it or if there's an, another element you guys would rather I work on let me know yeah I am happy for the most part though it looks better on camera to me with how the mushroom the toadstool turned out mm -hmm. I am happy with that Ooh, that's good so, I think it looks cool it has a dimensional quality All right, so that is if we don't have any more questions. Oh, don't forget to watch the video on how I got these two areas to the point that I did. That is up, and I have it up in the iCard right there on this side. It should pop up. I also have it down in the playlist down here, down there. And if you're new, the subscribe button is right there, and next to it is the bell for notifications. Now I'm just going to make finger animals. Do, 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 do. No, I'm not going to. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Stay nice and cool. Oh, we haven't gotten to the week.
And have we? No. That was wishful thinking. Huh. Yeah. Okay, at least stay cool during the week. And we will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Happy Hot burning. <laughs> Happy burning. I'm going to put this guy to bed. Bye. So tired.